Okay, I have to say, AI is really never asleep. Right now, we have another AI video model released. Yesterday, just launched, this one's from Alibaba, called Wan 2.1. They already have this AI video model on their official website, which, by the way, is in Chinese. And I know a lots of people from YouTube won't able to access this because it required phone number registration, but then they have open sourced the version 2.1 just this week. This model is not just for text or image to video generation. It's also able to do image generation, video to audio as well. That was like last year. As I remember, they had that website created similar to Kling AI. You see the interface for image and video generation. And right now, they've open sourced WAN 2.1. This is a new foundation model from their launch videos, as they mentioned. And of course, they have the Hugging Face GitHub project page for demonstration, so you can integrate it locally or on your own private server if you want to use it. Now on their page here, what they have are introductions with lots of features describing how you can use their AI models. The quality of their AI models, no question at all. It's better than the older AI video models currently on the market. Of course, that's how AI works. You get a newer AI model and it performs better and better each time. Even other companies' competitors releasing AI models are getting better. The quality is not like what we saw about AI videos or three months ago before we saw models only able to generate text to video or image to video. And like here, their AI models are able to do video editing for poster maintenance, in painting, out painting, and multi image referencing. This is something I love using image references as an object and then putting that into a new screen or new video scene. Like this, a lot of stuff can be created even using visual text generation within the videos. These models are able to do that as well and also add sound effects to your videos, generating audio based on that video. This is able to run on their official website, of course, and is also available on the Hugging Face GitHub page to play around with. And then I saw KJ has already made this one video wrapper just yesterday when this AI model launched and it's still a work in progress. So I suggest if you guys have no experience or knowledge about troubleshooting comfy UI or your computer system and you're not from a technical background, I suggest not running this at this moment. There might be some unexpected errors that can't be answered at some point. So just keep that in mind. So I just want to try to show how to run this how we can go through the installations and get this working. That's all. And of course, he has the link created to use for the repackaged models in the safe tensor files for Comfy UI. Now, as you can see, first of all, we have to go back to the one AI model page. We've seen that there are four model weights. One is the text to video 14B and then image to video 14B with two resolutions. One is for 720p, and one resolution is for 480p, which of course is lower resolution for lower computer hardware requirements, etc. And then there's a 1.3 billion Wien text-to-video model. Now, this model, the 1.3b, is what they call the consumer PC version. If you click into here, you'll see their descriptions, blah blah blah. And then, going down to the second point here, it supports consumer-grade PC GPUs. That's the text-to-video 1.3b model. So that means this 1.3 billion is able to run below 8 gigabytes of RAM. So, for the lucky people. Well, it's lucky for those with older GPUs. I've seen lots of people in the comments before saying they have really old GPUs and still treat them like high-speed Ferraris. Maybe you can try that with this 1.3 billion consumer-grade GPU model weights. Other than that, we will also try the image to video 14B because I've downloaded this model weights as well from KJ, where it's able to run for image to video. As you saw just now, we got multiple model weights. Coming back to KJ, this repackaged file list here, we saw that there's a text encoder and there's also something called OpenClip XLM, which is going to be used for the vision encoder. Or, you know, just like what we used to have in IP adapter or Redux in Flux. We got the vision to go through the image, and in this video AI model, they also have the capability of vision processing. So there are two versions, FP32 and FP16. And as well, for the VAE, we got FP32 and BF16. The other four model types are also converted with their models, which are able to run compatibly for Comfy UI. Now the 14B, which is 14 billion size parameters, has two resolutions. 480p and 720p, which require really high VRAM for the 14B720p resolution. So, 
I just suggest if you're honest with yourself, if you have really low VRAM computers like below 12 or 16 gigabytes of VRAM, don't use those. You won't be able to run that smoothly, or in the worst case, you might run out of memory. That's the truth, the reality, you have to face it. You can't run an older Mini Cooper like a Ferrari, that's the same concept. So, go to installing these custom nodes. It's not able to run in my comfy UI manager. I was using the installation steps provided by KJ here to clone the repositories and then do the PIP install in my folder system. Those are well, not hard to do, but you have to use the command prompt window to do that. I've already installed the custom nodes in ComfyUI and I can show you the command prompt window. By the way, for some people who complain, oh, you haven't shown the installation steps, etc. Well, first of all, I am not doing ComfyUI Beginner 101 tutorial or How To For Dummies series. There are a lot of times we install custom nodes, testing AI model, before we are recording video. But then, if you really want to know how to do the installations, How To For Dummies 101, then drop your ego and don't sit on your brain, use it like a normal human. Anyway, we are going to check it out in the following steps. So, go to your comfy UI and type CMD on the toolbar and press enter. You will have your command prompt window pop up and you can go to the custom nodes folder first. So once you're in your custom nodes folder, what you want to do is just copy the KJ Comfy UI one video wrapper and do the git clone, paste the link here. Since I've already done that, I can just skip this part and go to my folder which is CD and go to the Comfy UIWAN video wrapper. Once I'm in there, in this folder, you do the PIP install. That's something you must do to install the required libraries, components, whatever is needed to run these custom nodes. And since I've already done that before, I don't need to do that again here. And therefore, I have my Comfy UI running. As you see, I've run the videos a few times already here. Scroll to the top where, when I start up my Comfy UI system, you can see the one video wrapper. Just like the Han Yuan video wrapper, it's able to load in my system. It's right here. So, when you start your Comfy UI, you will see that there's no fail bracket before that custom node name. Just like what I have right here. It's all clean, all clear, ready to go. Then you are ready to get started with your Comfy UI and play around with it. So, coming back to here, I've tested the text to video and also image to video. There are two basic features of this model. Now, I've mentioned there's video editing with a lot of different features in this model, and I see that the one video wrapper from KJ hasn't explored those features yet. Then, what you see is the VAE that we've downloaded for WAN 2.1, and also the model loader. You have to choose the right model loader here. For example, I have the 1.3 billion for text to video. If you're running for the empty latent, of course, like that, that's going to be for text to video. If you're running for image to video, then that's going to be another story. Using the method is going to switch your model loader to the 14B parameter size. You have to check out the naming conventions, which is I to V, representing image to video 14B, and that resolution is 480p in this example. Right, so go back to here. That's the 14B and this is for image to video. So I'm making two sets of things, very basic stuff to play around with. This is the text to video, so basic, nothing else. And I combine that two together into one workflow. If you want to play with that, it's free to download in the link provided in the description below this video. You can check that out. So first of all, I've tried the text to video here. Very basic connections between all these nodes. You have the model loader, then the text encoder, and of course the empty latent for text to video. And you've got the sampler for running all that in here and then the video VAE decode. I've added the Rife VF iframe interpolations where I was able to smooth out the video motions. And here's my generated video for this text prompt. Looks better than what I've seen in the Sky Reels video model where it noticed the same car animations. But this one has more enhanced enriching motions for the video. I've played around with other videos such as jet fighters like this. And I'm able to just use an image and animate that, you know, flying in the sky like this. This is not just camera panning. Still, stay still, camera angle video motions like what we used to have in SVD or those older AI video models. It's more dynamic. As you can see, the objects are actually moving at different angles and camera motions. And for the text to video, I think this is even, of course, it's going to be better than LTX. 
if you compare with the small size 1.3B and LTX, which is almost 1 billion size, it's like 0.9B. But then we categorize that as a small size AI model for those user-friendly, consumer PC-friendly video models. And then it looks pretty nice, but there's still something that needs improvement. Of course, you got some pixelated pixels and there's some morphing in the back here. But you see, the main object of the car is still able to render pretty nicely in this looping video style that I did. And this one is another text to video example that I did with very simple basic features without any enhancement. As you can see, only the model loader, text, sampler, and VAE decode and I generated these videos. Looks better than a lot of text to video in local AI video models or people trying to convert that into running for comfy UI. Models like that are small size, very tiny and able to run. Even if you have low RAM, low VRAM GPUs are able to do that as well. Now, let's try something with different text prompts and see how that looks like. So, in the meanwhile, I'm generating this batch and I've done a few examples previously where I use just text to video to generate this futuristic style of airplane. And we got another seat number and we're able to generate that as well. And we've also been able to do kind of abstract styles of wave animations. So this AI model is able to do different varieties of styles instead of just animations for characters only. Therefore, this model is kind of pretty nice to see that this market is evolving with better and better. Every day we get newer models and almost every month or every week, we have some new model releases in this market. And I will show some other examples at the end of this video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Have a nice day. See ya.